What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. The Galaxy S8 won't actually start shipping until April 21st, but you can now have some of the S8 features on your Galaxy S7 Edge. This is my quick guide on how to turn your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge into a Galaxy S8. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll notice here is we do have the Galaxy S8 always on display. I'm gonna go ahead and run through all the modifications first and then show you how to install them. If we go into the home screen, you'll see that not only do I have the Galaxy S8 wallpaper, I also have the Galaxy S8 weather widget. And then if I swipe up, you'll see that we do have the Galaxy S8 launcher. So as far as the launcher is concerned, not much has really changed. Swiping up reveals the home screen and then swiping up again reveals the app drawer. You can also swipe down and get the same effect, essentially doing away with the app drawer button while still having the app drawer accessible. The other feature with the launcher here is that you're able to rearrange your icons and make folders within the app drawer, which is a nice touch. Also a long press brings up options, kind of like in standard Nougat for TouchWiz. And then if you long press, and go to your home screen settings, you can change the home screen grid and also the app screen grid. So for the apps, you have options of four by five or five by five. And for the home screen, you have options of four by four, four by five, and five by five. All right, and then if we go back to the home screen and swipe over to the left, this brings up Bixby. Bixby gives you all sorts of cards and information just to kind of help you along with your day. You can see here we have alarms it's already giving me information on tomorrow's weather uh, today's activity and then we have some samsung themes here and then briefing just gives you like uh, news stories from flipboard all kinds of things here on the bixby screen there is actually a way where you can get the software navigation buttons on the S7 and S7 Edge as well. That is for root devices specifically, and I will leave a link in the description to Max Lee's video. He's going to be putting up a video within the next few days. I'll be sure to include a link in the description for his tutorial on how to get S8 navigation buttons on your S7 or S7 Edge, or pretty much any Samsung device running Nougat. Okay, so to get all of this set up, you'll wanna to head to the link in the description, and I'll have all of the file download links necessary. So go ahead and download everything that you need. All right, so once you have downloaded and extracted the wallpapers from the link below, you'll go into your gallery and you'll see all of your wallpapers there in your gallery. To install the wallpaper, simply choose the wallpaper, go up here to the menu, and set as wallpaper. You can choose to set it as home screen only, lock screen only, or home screen and lock screen. We'll just go with home screen only for now. Set the wallpaper. You can even choose to add the motion effect, which just gives it that 3D parallax effect. And then there is our Galaxy S7 wallpaper. Installing the launcher is super easy. You'll go back into your files and find the launcher from where you've downloaded it. Go to your downloads. All right, you'll see it here, TouchWiz Home Launcher. Go ahead and install. Once it says app is installed, you'll click done, click the home button. And when you click the home button, if you don't already have that launcher installed, of course, it's gonna ask you if you wanna change to that launcher and you would select that. In order to get the weather widget installed, you'll head back into your file folder and find the weather widget file that you downloaded and it will be called s8weatherofficial.zip. Go ahead and open that. You'll need to go ahead and extract all folders. Then you'll go into your system folder here, go into the app folder, go into the provision folder first, go ahead and install the weather forecast app. When that's finished, you'll go back, go into the Medio app and install that as well. Once all that's finished, you'll be able to go back to the home screen, press and hold the home screen, go into your widgets and scroll all the way over to weather and you'll find it right there in your weather widgets. In order to install Bixby, you'll go ahead and once again install Bixby from the downloaded file. So you go back into your download folder where you've downloaded the Bixby application, go ahead and open that and install it. All right, so once that's done, you would press and hold your home button here. Press and hold your home to launch the settings here. Go to home screen settings. And then go to hello Bixby settings. Make sure that you do activate it. Once activated, 
you will be able to swipe to the left and get to your Bixby. All right, so if you had not already installed Bixby like I had, you will need to reboot your phone in order for Bixby to be available. So make sure that after you install it, you do reboot your phone. And then the last thing that we're going to do is install the always on display. This is also pretty simple. You'll head back into that download folder. Go ahead and install the AOD service version 25 APK. All right, once that's installed, we'll go into our settings. Then we'll go into applications. Go into your application manager, find the always on display. Go ahead and open up your always on display options, go into your storage and clear the data. All right, so once the data is cleared and always on display is updated, you'll notice that you now have the Galaxy S8 always on display. And it gives you a little rundown of what's available here. So it showcases that you can double tap a notification icon to view that notification. Hard press the home button to turn on the screen. Some of these are not functioning, obviously, because we're not on the Galaxy S8. This is double tap the clock to show face widgets. And then it shows you that you can go through all the face widgets. One of those happens to be the Samsung Music face widgets so that you can actually control your music from the always on display. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this quick tutorial on how to turn your Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, or any other Samsung device running Nougat into a Galaxy S8, at least to give you a taste of the Galaxy S8 until yours arrives on April 21st. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.